AI. In this demo, we want to send out a form and in that form, we're going to fill in some information on this opportunity. But we also like to uh, uh, be able to select via the lookup this uh, account name or change the account name via a lookup. So as you can see, this is already a lookup on our opportunity. And this is uh, what we want to show. So something that they can see and say, OK, hey, I want to do from United. And then you can also guess all uh, select the United uh, op uh, accounts on this opportunity. So what we first need is in our documents, we're going to create a merge field. So we're going to put a merge field here like so. So uh, this is for instance, the account lookup. I'm going to save my document and then I will go to the configuration and in this configuration I'm going to upload my document now. So with this document uh, uploaded I can now continue with the configuration but first take a look at our opportunity uh, data source. So this data source is a normal uh, uh, data source created via the Sockle Builder but this data source has uh, the field as you can see over here for the account ID. So this is the lookup field. If you're going to go here to select fields, you would see that this one is already selected. That's the one that you need. This is the lookup field on the opportunity. And that's how the system will know that it is a lookup to that specific account. Cool. So as you can see, I already added that to my data source. Now let's go take a look at the configuration. I'm going to add a config type. The config type is going to be of type for single for form field then the data source is going to be my opportunity the data source field is going to be the account id as i showed earlier the merge field will be account lookup okay i'm going to say that it's a required field and i'm going to go here for the lookup field uh, control type so that's it that's all that needs to be done now i click ok save it and when the saving is done, I can actually go in and go for the testing. So on my opportunity, I obviously have this, uh, um, this action here. So if I go and click this one, it will not do a mailing, but I configured the uh, form butler now just for demo purposes. Normally I would mail it out. And you can see that uh, cloud crossing is pre-filled because this is on the uh, opportunity already the account name. Now, when I delete this and I'm going to go for United, for instance, let's say United Oil and Gas, voila, that's it. So uh, I can search for all the fields, uh, all the accounts that are available. So if I'm going to go for Edge, you at least have to uh, print uh, or type three characters before it starts looking and it will find all of the, uh, um, the related accounts via name. OK, so let's select this one. Let's do Submit. Okay, in this case, I need to sign it off, but that's a configuration. Oh, some validations to be done. Okay, let's uh, put in a quantity here, five. Okay, and let's submit, sign again. So now it's being submitted and the form will be processed and our opportunity will be updated with the latest information. I can download the PDF on this form, obviously, that I just filled and you would see that it says United Oil and Gas. And let's take a look at our opportunity and see if actually the uh, account name is updated. Indeed, the account name is now updated to United Oil and Gas as we selected on the form. So maybe account is not the best example here, but if you can do that on a product or on a case or anything like that or on an uh, asset, then obviously it's more valuable for you to do that lookup.